Welcome in, Arian, the King of Cups. Whether you're dealing with an alpha female or a man, masculine, all right? That's that Scorpio Libra energy. I mean, this is the King of Cups, guys. This is also their emotions. Ding, ding, that's your confirmation, okay? I mean, this is how they're feeling, all right? This is what this is. They, they feel like they want to give you a cup. Okay, this is what this person, how this person is feeling. Now, with the overall energy being here, with the strength card judgment and the nine of wands, this is also someone that has felt like they're under judgment, felt like that they could have been under a hurt, prosecuted under some kind of judgment, even prosecuted in this situation. May even be judged by you, or this could be you, but they are also very defensive. This also lets me know that this person wants to defend their position, this connection, and with you and who they are. As they can't get cups, they could even want to restate, rest, um, okay, reestablish yourself as the king of cups. Sagittarian Leo fire energy is here, okay. Now, um, the divine feminine is feeling like the page of wands, so, um, you could be feeling like now with the page of wands here. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarian. So the divine feminine energies, whether you are divine feminine male or divine feminine female, could be talking to the same sex relationship, or you're just coming in your divine feminine energy this week, more softer or more softer approach. I heard interested on this new journey, um, but you could also just be interested into just new things and open i'm feeling like the divine feminine is in you or in the energy where you're open you're open to a new journey if that's what this is called for and you're also could be yeah ding ding as i say this confirmation open to having a conversation with the king of cups here all right, that's what I um, what I'm getting. Um, with the overall energy, like I said, on your energy as well, you're very defensive. You could also feel like this person has judged you, prosecuted you, and you're under some kind of judgment. This also could be spiritually, and you're just getting the courage to do that. So that's just what's going on here. All right, now um, the foundation is um, this um, the emperor energy. Okay, so I do like that. I mean, boss up. This could be both of you guys challenging each other as well. Um, or this could just be the energy, Aries energy. Very strong fire energy. Keep in mind there's a link below for all your four sound placements. Okay, guys, cafeastrology.com is the dope website. It also brings up all your full birth chart. But this is someone, um, uh, you know, like both of you guys are in your boss energy. All right, you could be working on your things. This person could be working on her own things. Some of you guys could be showing off on each other a little bit here because the current communication you ain't getting past me, child. Y'all do want to come together with the Cancerian energy three of cups being there, yeah, and that's what I'm seeing, okay, and that's current communication. That's what we're here for. So, like, yeah, I do see that here. All right, um, yeah, and with the uh, goal together, yeah, honey, uh-uh, this is Queen of Wands coming out with the Three of Cups. So, you know, I like that energy, you know, you, this, uh, you are in leadership role, and so is this person. This, the divine masculine energy, male or female, is ready to open up about their cup. Now, but this is also someone that was willing to defend their cup as well. Because so that could mean they're also in a defensive mode about letting you know and about opening up about this, but they're willing to do this. All right. The Van Feminine, I feel like you're opening up to this. Now, this could be because um of the three of swords energy that I'm seeing poking out here, this Libra energy here that haven't been worked out yet between you and this person, this third party energy. We're gonna take a look at that and see what that is. All right, um, here, okay, yeah, that's just what it is, and your person may know that emotionally, because swords is intellect. They're coming out in a cup energy. You're in a wand's energy. You could be ready, like I said, you're in an energy of where you're just like ready to get things started. All right? Now, let 
You could be like divine feminine getting advice. This could be even your intuition, connecting with your higher consciousness, your spirit guides on how to move forward. We're definitely going to get an ancestor message here. Your ancestors could be connecting with you to connect. You could be really tapping in because you, um, for some of you guys, like I'm seeing the queen of wands, the king, the, and the, the the queen of ones, you're on your way to becoming the empress or an empress energy. That's why the foundation is emperor, if, if emperor or empress energy. And that's just what I'm saying. And some of you guys, like I said, the, another thing here, both of you guys are in your masculine energies. Okay. Um, this is also something that could be blocking you. You might need to be more in your, oh my, oh my gosh. Thank you, Holy Spirit. King and the Queen of Cups. It could be that connection. Or if that's the energy, you might not realize that you are giving off. That's the blockages here. Because that's what this person, yeah. It could be that both of you guys are in this. You, both of you guys could even be like major manifestors. And then it doesn't mean um, you manifest the same way. You could just know how to manifest in your own way. Whether you are... Uh, alchemist okay like you know alchemy here or you are like you're a manifester you attract but some but both of you guys know how to do this but in order to have this here um you you're gonna have to open up in the queen of cups because the the is that's the balance that's the blockage but the goal together here is queen of wands passion and this person, like I said, goes together with the Queen of Cups. I mean, I'm sorry, with the Queen of Wands is a lot of passion, also a lot of sex. <laughs> so you, you, I mean, both of you guys could be really wanting it right now. I'm just saying that. That's also here. Okay, guys, that's, that's just it. Now, someone here, I picked this up yesterday. Um, I believe on a daily message does want and think about you meeting their children. As well, I'm just telling you that. Yeah, with the three of cups beating their family. It's holiday time. All right. Um, here. Now, for some of you guys, you might even meet this person's baby's mama. Um, some kind of way meeting the kids. So, that would be interesting. All right. Um, here. But, you know, the, um, the, the, that mentally is really opening up spiritually here. I mean, they're really, really going within, um, digging, um, like, what is this? What is this feeling I'm having? You know, what is this energy we got? What is this connection, you know, that I feel like all that kind of shit, that Teddy Pendergrass the shit, okay? They shine the light on that, okay? They really, really, um, you know doing that this is also someone guys here um now with the three of swords energy here if this doesn't get resolved this is someone that could feel like maybe they should just leave the situation relationship alone because the hermit can also give off ghosted energy with the three of swords here because it, it, the head budding, they could also feel like, you know, they don't want to fight right now. I mean, you know, maybe, you know, I, I don't know, because I'm, I'm hearing a later time. I know a lot of you guys are possibly tired of hearing that, you know, but like I said, foundation, emperor energy, goals together, I'm, I'm sorry, goals together is the queen of wands energy. Um, How do they really feel, king of cups energy? How do your, um, your divine feminine feel the um, page of one's energy. But how do they see themselves here? The divine masculine can feel you want to move on, divine feminine. Oh, did you hear my um, video just now, Blake? They can pick up on the energy of this new story that you have. They can feel like you may have already made the choice to move on and move forward. And that's why they're like shining some light on whether if not, they should stay. This person is like alfalfa energy i'm getting i just heard i just saw they showed me alpha she loves me she loves me not yeah that's what it is and that's the issues that need to be worked out when it comes to the three of swords you definitely could be connecting to a virgo aquarian aquarian capricorn and any fire sign period all right now let's see 
I feel the divine masculine energy here. Um, really, 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 really wants to open up here. But because they feel discouraged. And this could be, it's a divine feminine. You Like I said, Dr. Un eyes and cross your T's, you know where you are in this. It could be because of the energy that you are giving off is very masculine. Show me more about the emperor. Why is that here? Why is the emperor here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yep, eight of yeah, five of pentacles. I'm telling you, with the eight of cups in reverse and the five of pentacles in, in reverse. This is someone here, you know, they feel like let me see something. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Five of ones in reverse. They're avoiding you. They're avoiding because they don't like they they don't know if they should just you're the vibe. masculine feels confused to me. Yep, they are. They're confused. It's a bur it's burden. They don't know what to do here because they 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 feel like I don't know if this is like too late energy because they feel like you have already moved forward. Give me something on the page of one, please. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ten of cups. Ten of cups with ribbon and holy and harvest good cheer. May you dance and be jolly for Christmas is here. This person, yeah, with the seven of swords. Oh my gosh, the van, um, masculine, the van, feminine feel like that you are being sneaky. I heard lied. Ace of Wands. Someone here feels like you lying about something. What do you feel like they lying about? Now with two kings here, they could feel like you had someone else, or you, you know, or you feel like that way. Put, you know, where you are. What's the what's the lie? Yep, they feel like you got somebody. Five of swords and a king of pentacles. For some of you guys, someone here felt like, or you felt like this person played mind games with you. Drank her energy. Yep, queen of wands. If she was really fucking around with someone else. Yep, ace of wands. Here it is again. Sex. You was having sex with somebody. Um, For some of you guys, that's, they, that's, that's what this person thought. That's what they thought. Or this is what you thought. All right? So this is... What does a man feminine having sex with somebody? Almighty beautiful universe and holy spirit. Was it the man feminine? Someone here thought you was having sex with your baby's dad? Child, what is going on? Oh, we got it. Okay. <laughs> the van masculine no honey the fool in reverse king of ones in reverse that's sexual energy in a ten of cups in reverse the, if you were on here and you're wondering if your divine feminine was fucking around lying or messing with your baby's dad or something like that that is not the case here three of pentacles no they were not nope the sun card nope not a source and the empress this person also could be worried that you think they're messing with someone else or that um, you already think that um, they're messing with their baby dad, masculine, if you're, or, you know, for the men that are watching this. But that are thinking if this person was messing with someone else. Um, I mean, I mean, for the baby's dad part. Because I'm picking up on baby daddy energy. Now, for those of you guys that's not resonating with the baby dad energy, that part's just not for you. If you think they were hooking up, lying about having another relationship or trying to lie to you, plague you, put you on the side of her sneaky leak, side hustle you, who would think you know this person wasn't and know they weren't fucking with nobody else. All right? Just so you know that. Now, um, I want to see. Give me the King of Cups energy. Ooh. I just want to take a look at the King of Cups real quick. Ooh. Okay, this person does not want you to know. All right, because it's like, oh, we're going to get them. Damn it. 
Oh, and we gonna get them, child. You know how we do here on spiritual now. We gonna get them. They, this is something they have um, been keeping to your to themselves about um, how they felt about you being sneaky. Sneaky. They didn't know. Someone here is like, I don't know if they fuck with someone else. Is it their baby's dad? What it is? What is the King of Cups? Mm. Yeah. The Eight of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Yep, the Ace of Wands in attack. I told you, someone here was in their feelings because they thought you were having sex. What's your baby's dad? Yeah, I'm telling y'all, Nine of Cups. I am serious. Now, for others of you guys, they just simply thought that you were um, having sex with someone else. Why did this person think that um, Collective was having sex with someone else? Oh, my God. They're showing me this deck. Let me see. Why? Yeah. Why did this person think that the, the Collective was having sex with someone else? Now, remember, you know, when you come on, um, in... In this message, you'll always remember these are general Dutch or un as and pressure seeds. What is this? Clarity, happy, toxic, and jealous. Someone here thought that you were doing this on purpose to make them jealous. Yeah, someone here thought you might have even been doing things like posting shit, doing shit. Yeah, you know, yep, intimacy, excitement, and affection here. Attraction, yeah, yep. For some of you guys, this is your twin. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Dating and romance. This is someone here. They thought that you were trying to make them jealous. You were put this part. Okay. Now, for some of you guys, if you were trying to make this person jealous, or you think this person was trying to make you jealous, you're right. They were. Your person does not like that. Um, this is also someone here that felt like, um, you know, it 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 then it, it became toxic. It's about the tower. Okay, now they had a tower because they become your. This is someone here. Yeah, they became your secret admirer. This is yeah, third party. You got um yeah. If you were like trying to make this person jealous or you get attention, they don't like that. Nope, and they have regret. This is someone here that regret like not maybe giving you the attention that you already get from other people. Shit, yeah, celebration and karmic partner. That you already get from third parties, yeah. And this is someone I got to say this down there jealous, and they regret walking away with the regret card. Yep, they wish they would have given you, did more, maybe given you something. They want reconciliation. That I told you the energy. They feel this energy with you, and this is what this person is nervous about. This is also someone here that could even be going through your Facebook and shit. They're nervous that you have already moved on and you're already talking to someone else. <laughs> This person, yep, yeah, and this is someone here, to be honest with you, they feel betrayed by you, and this is a lesson that they're being taught. This is someone here, because they're hurt, for some of you guys, I ain't gonna lie, they could be looking at it as betrayal. Damn it. That's just simply because they're mad, but this is a lesson that they ask is being taught here. To be honest with you, judgment is, judgment is here. <laughs> and it's not even that. And if the thing is, this person here... And there's a lot of watching and regretting jealousy here. And so that's letting me know, yeah, and cup energy and wands on your energy, cup emotion on their energy. There's the need to be just a simple conversation. Someone here jumps to conclusions and make decisions instead of making decisions based off the things they already know. They make assumptions and then base shit and be wrong because whatever they thought, they were wrong about it. What's the hermit? Here, let's use the golden green set. Okay, the page of one. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. And this person secretly wants to move towards you because you're coming out as the page of ones. This is also someone that wants to move towards a new start with you. And for someone, someone here wants to meet your child. Mm -hmm. Someone here feels like getting connected into you is with your child. They feel like um, they this person sees you as a good parent. That's what I'm hearing. So 
someone here knows that yeah, someone here feels like if they can get connected to your child. Um it will be connected to you or vice versa. Especially if your child is a Pharisee or a Cusper. Yeah, six of wands here. They feel like things could grow better. Yeah, honey. I'm going to tell you. Yep, Page of Pentacles. I'm going to tell you something, too, about this person. This is someone here. i got to say it because it's here. Damn it. Not again. A little bit about this person's personality that I'm picking up on. It's almost like this with them. Like, say, for an example, y'all going through some shit. Y'all going through things. And maybe you guys aren't talking on the right page. Ding, ding. This is your confirmation. Mm. As I'm going to say this, they'll still call and check on your child, but low-key, they'll still say what your mommy doing, all right, which I do today, trying to figure, just, they're keeping tabs on you, by the way, yep, mm-hmm, honey, four swords, five of swords on the world card, I'm going to tell you that, I mean, but this is also someone, but, you know, I, I'm not saying that this person is using the child in a form, yeah, ding, ding, it's your confirmation, you can look at it like that, you know, um, to get the page of pentacles out of them, but in another form and fashion, you know, this is also someone, no matter what, you know, even when y'all break up and they say y'all aren't together, there could be, you know, as you know, we come on Kaya for lessons, also known as Mother Gaia Earth, this is a, um, a planet of school, but, um, you know, if you're going through another level with this person, they will still make sure your kids are okay. Still make sure the kids, you know, being, being confirmation, honey, yeah, would need something. So that just gives me that high level of respect that I like with this person. All right, here, so you know that. Okay, all right, let's look at the Six of Swords. Now, the Van Feminine. Um, you need to get in your, your, um, more of your feminine energy. God. Yeah, that's the emperor and the king of swords. I'm telling you, I, <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't make this up. Mm-hmm, that's it, your confirmation. Now, for some of you guys, if you felt like you had to hold it down or become the masculine energy, because that's the only time the divine feminine, whether you're, now for some of you guys that are divine feminine energy, because we have both. And I could be talking to the same sex relationship. I don't have to be. Alright. Um, you have crossed over masculine. And you might be using too much of it. And it could be projecting a little pushing energy towards your um, masculine. Alright. That's to testosterone. Ain't that how you say it? Testosterone or something like that. You guys know what I'm saying, shit. Y'all know I can't talk, but y'all be getting the message. Um, but like, <laughs> but like, yeah, it's 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 head butting energy, and that could be causing the King of Swords. So that's why I'm saying the Queen of Cups energy here. That's that's what this is all about. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. So things can start growing in a Four of Pentacles. Yeah, because you don't want yeah toxic. And like I said, that could be a spiritual attack that the devil is going to use in this connection and will use to, you know, disconnect you guys, especially on the Twin Flame journey here. You have six, six of, the um, Six of Cups and a Ten of Swords. So you guys could be in a Six of Cups and start reminiscing on things you guys should already have been used to or whatever it is for you. All right. Now, let's see where we want to go now. So I want to look into this Three of Swords. Okay, right. That's why the four of pentacles is in reverse. This is why this is not growing. Yeah, Prince um, of Cups in reverse. This is someone here that needs to grow up. I'm sorry, y'all. They want it, they're emotionally feeling like the King of Cups, but they're coming out as the Prince of Cups in reverse. Period. Yep, the moon core and we've got when it comes to the emperor and the empress. Now the empress in reverse, yeah, honey. But the moon core. They need to, oh, they need, that's just it. They need to grow up. This is someone that needs to grow up and they need to mature. 
period. All right, that's what needs to be worked out here. Yeah, when it comes to, yeah, so they can make a yeah, decision, shit. Yeah, and start to move forward, even if it's in, even in the Prince of One's energy, just to get things fucking going. You have already, you're in your Prince of One's energy. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Damn it. To come towards you, because you're in the Prince of One's energy as well. And for some of you guys, yes, to get in that Prince of One's energy with you. Yeah, period. Now, this person is obsessing. And they need to stop, like, you know, this is why they're obsessing so much as well. Give us something on the double card, please. All right, let me see what's on the double card. Mm. Yeah, yep, that's why they're obsessing so much, and there's a lot of mental anguish here. Yep, when it comes to the balance in this connection here. Yeah, and the aid of this to get things so you guys can work, work on it. All right, so let's see what this person wants to say to you. Okay, so the Divine Feminine wants to say, I'm so lonely without you, um, Divine Masculine. The Divine Feminine energy here. Like I said, whether your person is um, a male or a woman, they do, they do. They feel lonely without you, I told you. Um, and that's just, that's what it is. It's if you So if you're thinking, whatever you were thinking, it's all mental stuff and it needs to be let go because it's not it's not true you might have thought something that wasn't true the masculine energy like i said whether you're a man or woman um here okay and now the um the van um masculine is like you are the only one who can make me feel this way the king of cups the van feminine whether you're a man or woman like i told you you know you Got your own eyes. Cross T's, you know where you are in this. We have both energies. You know where you are coming in this week. Okay? That's just what this is. And, um, yeah, this is the King of Cups. The King of Cup. When it comes to the Kings in Tarot, there is no other King for the Cup but the King of Cups. Um, Scorpio, Libra, Energy. Like I said, you could be dealing with, um, a Scorpio or Libra or any fire sign to be specific. The foundation is this person is so excited um, by just the thought of you. That's the foundation. Emperor energy between both of you guys. You know, um, so you know that, you know, but it's both masculine. Um, current communication. I know it, um, it wasn't meant to be like this. Three of Cups. I told you. This person know you got, you know, wasn't, whatever this is, it wasn't supposed to go down like this. They know, you know, I heard something about broken heart. All right, something like that. Um, the van, this is, this is how this person feels. The goals between this together is, is this might be new to both of you guys. It, because y'all in the queen of wands energy. So then you might have to open up to different ways of communicating. Maybe you guys both need to think about, okay, we need to try something new. That didn't work. That didn't work. Why keep trying it that way? Let's do this. I mean, whatever that means for you. You, you, know, you understand what I'm saying here? Now I'm coming out with your blockages. I get, oh, I've been getting dressed up to see you. Oh, my. And grapes abound. They're all around. Damn I told you. King and Queen Cat of Love. The King and the Queen of Cups. Alright? Now, if you are masculine, you are extremely, extremely alpha. And it might be time for you just to show that one side of, you know, more of your cup side, more of your emotion side. Okay? You know, that might help you out more than you may think, masculine. I'm just saying... All right, if that is you, all right, because this is very, very masculine energy. So if you are, for you guys are, are men, this is like, you know, and women like strong, you know, masculine energies. That's not, you know, that's not it. But you, you, you need to tone down just a little bit and be more open up, more emotional. And nothing's wrong with that. And if you are female, then you need to. And sometimes, like I always tell you guys, me too as well. You know, I, you have to work, work on the balance on that and know when it's okay to come into your 
feminine energies. And I feel like a lot of us is noticing that. If you notice, a lot of speakers, a lot of um, public influencers, even on YouTube, um, there's a lot of them coming out. It's everywhere, masculine, feminine energy, because it's time to be a balance. I feel like the universe is also putting that out there. Okay, guys? So, um, so you know that, but I'm telling you, this is in the blockages. So you guys can experience this. All right. And this is going to be a new kind of love. And this is what y'all both want in the goals together. And both of you guys do think about this. All right. That's in the foundation. All right. Now, this person, my love for you is eternal. There will only ever be one you, Herman Energy. I told you. This is how this person sees their self in this connection with you. That's this place. But they hold on to this. My heart hurts about thinking about you. The divine feminine. This is how they're seeing their self in this relationship. I told you the divine feminine feels lonely and hurt. If this divine feminine started off as the Queen of Cups, they could have turned more into their fire energy and went all the way down to a page. You're not giving in much. They're not doing much connection. The divine masculine can feel like that. And it's because they feel hurt. They feel lonely. They I hurt without. Why? You know, you guys know the specific specifics. I'm just the current energy reader. And like I said, the divine masculine, look at this. This is, they keep a lot, and the divine masculine does usually keep a lot in. But, how they are seeing herself is their love is eternal for you and you only make them feel this way here but they hide it they rather keep it to themselves and for a lot of you guys you got to balance out energies now i wouldn't say reach out it's if you know the specifics of your situation I would say work on your energy and putting that out because, you know, especially for you guys that are manifestors and you are, because when you are a manifester and that's how you um, deal with your abundance, you attract. So it will be important for you to work more within. Now for you guys that are alchemists and that's, and that's not how you attract, then you need to this will be you baby reaching out maybe just saying hey even doing something like i don't know liking a picture on instagram oh you know happy holidays to you and your family something just a little open up you'll be surprised how far you can go for you guys that are alchemists out there okay now manifestors in this energy this will be a little bit more challenging because you attract so you will have to work on more of your energy and that's why this overall masculine, a master, <laughs> thank you, Holy Spirit, uh, masculine energy is coming out. So become more feminine. All right, don't be posting no crazy stuff when you mad and stuff. Don't be emotional. You know, um, you know, be in your abundance. All right, you know, look good. Healing energy is also um, attractive energy. Laws of attraction. That's the, that's where your your manifestation lies at, for the most part. All right, guys. All right. So let's see what this person wants to express to towards you. The divine feminine is stuck um, on you to divine masculine. Just so you know that divine feminine, you ain't getting that page me, child. Wait for it. Damn it. This is someone for some of you guys, you are waiting on your person, divine masculine. If you are feeling like it's your divine feminine waiting on you, they or they want you to reach out. This is someone here that feels like they've been waiting for you to reach out, though, so you know that. This is also someone that feels lonely because they've been waiting for a while, and that makes sense of why this came out. Um, here. Also, I just saw the Empress in Reverse book out. Alright? Um, so, so you know that. The Divine Masculine here, um, also, you know, you make me feel this way. Like I said, this is someone that's playing peekaboo. <laughs> I heard peekaboo when I touched this card. A little egg is, uh, is hatching there. This is someone here, they do want, you know, they, it's almost like peeping at the situation. 
you know, peekaboo. So the information that I just said about you um, reaching out, you know, wanting to say, hey, this is someone that, you know, I see that you do want to do that. And I'm, I'm encouraging you is I'm not saying kiss nobody's ass do nothing big, but I am encouraging you to take that step here uh, because the foundation is you both of you guys are excited and there's a lot of passion when it comes to both of you guys here. All right. Um, yeah. Wait a minute, I'm seeing something I need to clarify right there, child. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. What is, what is, what is that? Okay, wait, they want me to use this next, so I will. What is that? I just saw something, guys. One second. Someone here um, regrets not having an intimate date with you, maybe not eating or something like that. So this is what they want. They might want to um, also take you to dinner. What is that? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, honey. <laughs> yeah, this person is obsessed. Okay, yeah, that's what I got. All right. You know, I got to make sure. But it, like I said, it's a lot of mental um, because um, in cup energy, because when it comes to the um, ones energy, it's always a page. And this is just the two ones. Child, and here go the devil card again. Hell no. Eight of ones. Child. Honey, this person is really, really. Now, I'm going to tell you something. You might not know that this person might deal with a little bit of a, yeah, ding, ding, a mental problem here. Yeah, there might be a little bit of, um, yes. The devil been here three times. Yeah. This person, and also for some of you guys, this person feels like, damn it, damn it. Um, they have been played with mentally a lot, all right? And it could have caused them to be, you know, a little toxic here. All right, just so you know that. Yeah. But like I say, with the Gears card here, and I know it wasn't meant to be like this. Like I said, this is someone that knows they should have worked on it. This is someone that knows they should have put more on it. It should be shit. They should have used more oil when it comes to you and them. All right. And some of you guys can even be dealing with a mechanic or someone that's into mechanics that knows about cars or something like that. Because I'm seeing a garage um, here. But yeah, they should have. If this person was supposed to help you with your car, someone here wish they could have helped you with your car. I don't know who's that for. All right. They felt like that could have been a way in. All right. But well, this is someone also that feels like they should have worked on a situation. Um, this is also someone here. Yeah, this step, this step of love is new to me. When it comes to the goals together, they want to take a deeper look with them when it comes to you together and have a conversation. This is also someone here that wants to take a look at you without you really noticing so they can get a feel for themselves. This is someone here that lets me know they are watching and spying on you too. So you know that. Um... So you know that as well. Yeah, but the thing is, like I said, when it comes to your blockages, they're not communicating this. Now, this person does see themselves. I told you, someone here wants to meet your daughter or your son or your children. This is someone here that maybe never did that before. This is also someone that could be real strict on meeting their children or never did something like that, but they want to do this with you. I'm um, here, so you, so you know that. All right. Okay. Okay, I'm going to tell you something, Divine Feminine. This is the thing, and this is what I wanted to clarify, too. Your heart hurts thinking about this person. And this is why you're so blocked. Ding, ding. And I get it. This is you being protective. And you've been hurt. But um, for some of you guys, and I know this is very scary, but in, until there's no way to date again. I heard that song by Tony Braxton, Breathe Again. Um, to breathe again. Okay, if you don't give it a chance. All right. So for some of you guys, yeah, mm -hmm, you're gonna have to yeah give this a chance here, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Freezer energy. 
dream. For some of you guys, you might have to, you know, get out your head a little bit. All right, come into your feminine energies, guys, and that's okay. And when you the think about it, yeah, 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 yeah. And the thing about this is once you do it, yeah, honey, and ain't nobody saying be a brown noser because I see that hair or nothing like that. Yeah, um, when it comes to this connection with this person. But what I'm saying is it is a beautiful, divine energy is beautiful. It is, the, it's attracting. So once you start to to tap into that, you know where you are in this, it will help attract your person. They'll be attracted to that. I feel like that's also what the universe is trying to get you to know here. I just want to see something else. Because I wanted to check on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then a lot of you guys might already know this because you've been drowning in your emotion. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I told you. So that it will attract. You will stand out. The bigger picture. All right, yeah, yeah, honey, emotion, emotion. Um, tapping into your Queen of Cups energy, honey, will attract your person. And your person have seen you in your Queen of Cups energy. And just so you know that, they think that's the most beautiful part about you. Yeah, and that's also what makes them so excessive when it comes to um, you and them. This is also someone, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, that's what, it's new to them. And they see that in you, they don't want you to share that with no one but them. And they don't want to share this with no one but you. And like I said, um, someone here, I'm seeing fork spoons, yeah. Someone here, um, yeah, I always know you were the one for me and they regret not, like they want to take you out to dinner, not dating you, three of swords energy. Um, not, you know, you know, treating you like who they know you are in the inside. In spite of what they showed you here. Okay, guys. All right. So let's go ahead and, um, let's take a look at the overall energies real quick before we dip into the outcome and start closing this thing out. Now, the overall energy is here. Like I said, this person is definitely watching you because they've been fantasizing about you, the overall energy. Damn it. It's both of you guys. Because this is the overall energy, honey. You ain't getting up past me. But both of you guys are acting defensive. Especially the divine feminine and the page of one energy. You guys are acting defensive when it comes to having a new store. Judgment is being called. Someone needs to call judgment. Judgment has already been called. Yeah, to get that lion energy, that courage energy, that Leo energy. All right. That is the overall energies here. Now, let's look at the outcome of this um, situation. Right. Ten of Pentacles. Woo, my fingers were. <laughs> Someone here wants to meet your child. Someone here feels like this is part of this. Oh, I gotta say, like I said earlier, this is also this part of this person's plan. Shoes, honey. Even with the egg energy. This is also someone that fantasizes about having a child with you, just so you know, because that's the overall energy. But they want to have a child with you. Yeah, they want to meet your child here. That's just what it is. I feel lost and lonely without you. Look at this shit here. This is the outcome. I am so lonely without you. I feel lost and lonely without you. And see, that's the thing. For yeah, ding ding, that's your confirmation for both of you, for some of you guys. Both of you guys feel lost and lonely without each other. We got to, you know, come to a, a, a compromise. Yep, Ace of Cups. When it comes to this Ace of Cups, when it comes to this cup, and that's just what needs to be done here. Let's look at the expression here. Oh my gosh. Yes. So you guys can communicate. And that's also, someone's name is Kate. I just heard Caitlin. And that's, it could even be your child's name. And that's also the blockages communication. And that will unblock this so you guys can talk. Once this happens, you'll be able to talk. This person will feel more comfortable calling you on the phone, texting your phone, sending you an email, however you guys communicate, however you guys do your thing. It will open up that blockage, that pathway, because that is the blockage. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
All right. Okay, so um, I'm just trying to see, is there anything else here? All right, we're going to get more of the situation. All right, very interesting. All right. When it comes to this outcome, anything we need to know about this situation? This lesson, thank you, Holy Spirit. This lesson, this person had to go through and learn to have this uh, Ace of Cup with you. Or it will be the Ace of Cup in reverse. Oh my God! That deserves. Ooh, let me fuck it up, tell y'all. Damn it, child obsession. This motherfucker is obsessed. Excuse my French, man Damn or it. woman. What is this? Yep, I told you. Two or more people discussing and planning. This person is so obsessed that they're willing to get people to help them out, child. Man or woman, I told you, focus, fastening, and watching you sideways. Okay, um, TikTok time is running out sideways. All right, this is someone I just heard time and time. This is someone that does peek on and look at your social media from time to time. Now, for some of you guys, this person does this a lot, but they give off the energy like from time to time. They may like your picture from time to time. They may say something, but they really look on it more than you think of um, do you know. Yep, denial, not facing rational, um, the truth. Yep, I told you. <laughs> More than you know. Yep, escapade. Yep, avoiding. Yeah, and that's because they're still trying to. They, they're they want they're avoiding you knowing that they're they're they still pretty much want this with you. Like let's just be real, okay? So with that being said, let's get some over. Let's get some overall love messages from you and your person. Then we can pull some love oracles. Damn. This flew right out, guys. Rekindle. Yeah, I told you. As soon as you hit this Queen of Cups energy, and um, the, like we were just talking about um, earlier with this unplugged energy, it's going to rekindle this thing with you guys. And your twin, here they come. Yin and Yang energy, twin flame. Like the Yin and Yang symbol, twin flame contains the aspect of each other. So Others characters within themselves um, tested. This person felt like they've already been tested. For, I told you. And this person, they tested you on this theory. Whatever this is about, for some of you guys fucking with someone else, for some of you guys, this is messing with your baby's dad or baby's mom. They tested it and they found that they were wrong. They were wrong about that. Yep. Remarkable. Yep. Secretnicities. Hell yeah. And power. Yep. And now this person wants to reconnect with you, make you white feet. I heard white feet and hubby. What love or comments? Okay. We're going to use these love oracle messages here. All right. Resolving conflict. And this person had to grow up maturity and also spiritually. And they've been guided to, too. There's a love oracle message here. Messages for the collective. Messages for the collective. Mm -hmm. Okay, someone here is definitely um, in the studio. Sexuality, hell yeah, because you're the divine fe um, feminine. Um, feminine. Yeah, someone here, yeah, I told you, and they still are very much attracted to you. Very sexual here. They want to heal this. They want forgiveness and love with you. Sarah Bethany is here. Yep, they want to heal this. Yeah, life purpose. And for some of you guys that are here for the same sex relationship, I'm also seeing a very, you know, pretty um, rainbow as well for some of you guys, just so you know that. Um, they see a life purpose with you as well. Let's break this down with an oracle message. This is, um, I like how this is playing out. All right. I just saw, like, they just showed me, like, a rainstorm in the sun. So, through the rain, yeah. And after the rain, there's a rainbow, usually. Yeah. All right, choices. Uh -huh. This person is, um, making some choices. Um, we're all mad here. This is someone here that is even mad at some of the choices that they have made here. Um, it's always tea time in reverse. 
Yeah, I told you because whatever this tea they thought, it was not true. Yep, shine bright like a candle. And they found out about this, y'all. I cannot make this shit up. I just keep getting that. All right, let's see what other signs you guys are connecting with. All right, other than um, what's already here, guys. And we'll close it out. All right, guys. So that's what's coming in this week, guys. Remember, this is general message. This will take the part that resonates with you. All right. Okay, we got Libra here. This is also a, um, deals with the seventh house contracts. Eighth house, honey. Scorpio energy. All right, you could be dealing with Scorpio. You also have Libra in your eighth house. Sun signs. I can't make this up. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarian. Cancerians here, the moon. You can also have um any uh, Libra here in your moon. All right. Don't be afraid to hit that link in the description box, guys, for your all four of your sound placements, guys. And I will also bring up your full birth chart. All right, guys. I love you all. Stay dope. All right. This is what's coming in this week for you versus them. I hope this helped you out in more ways than one.